Welcome once again. In this session, we're going to be reading Hebrews chapter 11, the Hall of Faith. Now, there is a portion, there is a certain uh, passage in this chapter that I really want to zone in on, and it's a passage that's very interesting. We'll get to that later in the chapter. Verse 1, Now faith is assurance of things hoped for, proof of things not seen. For by this the elders obtained approval. By faith we understand that the universe has been framed by the word of God, so that what is seen has not been made out of the things which are visible. By faith, Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he had testimony given to him that he was righteous, God testifying with respect to his gifts, and through it he, being dead, still speaks. Abel's gift was righteous, and Cain's wasn't. You say, how is that? Because Abel offered his gift in accordance to the Torah, exactly the way the Torah prescribed, whereas Cain didn't. Abel offered the firstlings, the first fruits, the firstborn of his flock. Cain should have offered the first fruits of his crops, but he didn't. You see, that is how Abel was righteous and Cain was not. Note here, that the Torah was not written yet, okay? So the Torah is eternal. It existed before the days of Moses, and it exists long after the days of Moses, because the Torah, or the law of God, is a reflection of God himself, never changes. The law is always a reflection of the lawgiver. If the law is abolished, then the lawgiver must be abolished. And if the law is changed, then the lawgiver must be changed. Verse 5, By faith Enoch was taken away so that he wouldn't see death, and he was not found because God translated him. For he has had testimony given to him that before his translation he had been well-pleasing to God. Without faith, it is impossible to be well-pleasing to him. For he who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who seek him. Now, it says in Genesis that Enoch walked with God and he was not, for God took him. Now, it sounds like he just disappeared. But if you look in other ancient sacred texts, you will find that Enoch was taken exactly the way that Elijah was taken. God willing, we will get into those texts as well, such as the Sefer HaYashar and the Book of Enoch. By faith, Abraham, when he was called, obeyed to go out to the place which he was to receive for an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he went. By faith he lived as an alien in the land of promise, as in a land not his own, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking for the city which has foundations, whose builder and maker is God." By faith, even Sarah herself received power to conceive, and she bore a child when she was past age, since she counted him faithful who had promised. Therefore, as many as the stars of the sky in multitude, and as innumerable as the sand which is by the seashore, were fathered by one man, and him as good as dead. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them and embraced them from afar, and having confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. For those who say such things make it clear that they are seeking a country of their own. If indeed they had been thinking of that country from which they had went out, they would have enough time to return. But now they desire a better country, that is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed of them to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham, being tested, offered up Isaac. Yes, he who had gladly received the promises was offering up his only born son, to whom it was said, your offspring will be accounted as from Isaac. That is found in Genesis 21, 12 concluding that God is able to raise up even from the dead. Figuratively speaking, he also did raise him back from the dead. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau, even concerning things to come. 
By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning on the top of his staff. By faith, Joseph, when his end was near, made mention of the departure of the children of Israel and gave instructions concerning his bones. By faith, Moses, when he was born, was hidden for three months by his parents, because they saw that he was a beautiful child, and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to share ill treatment with God's people than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a time, considering the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt, for he looked to the reward. By faith, he left Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. By faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of the blood, that the destroyer of the firstborn should not touch them. By faith they passed through the Red Sea on the dry land. When the Egyptians tried to do so, they were swallowed up. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they had been encircled for seven days. By faith Rahab the prostitute didn't perish with those who were disobedient, having received the spies in peace. What more shall I say? For the time would fail me if I told of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, David, Samuel, and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked out righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions. That is found in Daniel chapter 6, verses 22 to 23. Quenched the power of fire. And that is found in Daniel chapter 3, verses 1 through 30. Escaped the edge of the sword. And that is found in 1 Kings chapter 19, verses 1 through 3, and 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 31 through chapter 7, verse 20. From weakness were made strong, grew mighty in war, and caused foreign armies to flee. Women received their dead by resurrection. And that is found in 1 Kings chapter 17, verses 17 through 23, and 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 32 through 37. Others were tortured, not accepting their deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Notice here, it says, others were tortured, not accepting their deliverance, because they were looking for a better resurrection. That is found in the Apocrypha. If you remember earlier on in the book of Hebrews, I said that there's so much Apocrypha here in the book of Hebrews. This is another spot. Because in 2 Maccabees chapter 7, we have, a, we have the story of a woman with seven sons of hers, and all of them got completely tortured and killed because of their faith, not accepting their deliverance because each one of them was offered deliverance. We also find that story in 4 Maccabees. Verse 36, others were tried by mocking and scourging. Yes, moreover, by bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned. And that is found in 2 Chronicles 24, verses 20 and 21. They were sawn apart. Here's another one. There is nowhere in the Bible that tells us of righteous men by faith that are sawn apart. But in the Jewish Talmud, it tells us that Isaiah was. That story can also be found in the ascension of Isaiah. Now, there is speculation as to when the ascension of Isaiah was written. Some people think it was before this book was written, the book of Hebrews. Some people think it was after. But the point is this, that the oral traditions of the Jews were kept apart from canonical scripture. And this is obviously where they get this from. So that brings me to another point. It is so very important to read and study and know the Apocrypha and the Pseudepigrapha and a lot of the other Jewish writings as well. Because just the scriptures alone, just just the one book that we can hold in our hands doesn't tell us everything. It can't. And again, God willing, we will get to all of those very interesting books and ancient texts. They were tempted. They were slain with the sword. Jeremiah chapter 26, verses 20 to 23, and 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 10. They went around in sheepskins and in goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering in deserts, mountains, caves, and the holes of the earth. 
I love this, of whom the world was not worthy. These all, having been commended for their faith, didn't receive the promise. God, having provided some better thing concerning us, so that apart from us, they should not be made perfect. If these videos have been a blessing to you, be sure to go back in the archives. Go back to the other videos in this channel and download them. Download all of them because we don't know how much time we have left here. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.